Alright everybody, we have already done mixed number and we have also did uh, converting mixed number to improper fraction. So today, we are going to do the other way that is converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. So let's say if I'm given this um, improper fraction, okay, so here will be 3 out of 3 plus 3 out of 3 plus that's 1 third so my answer for improper will be 7 out of 3 so that's my improper fraction okay so today because we are going to do the other way okay we are going to do let's say if they give you an improper how would you change it to a mixed number now always remember okay this 3 out of 3 is actually your 1 whole. Okay? So, if you are given 7 out of 3, right? So, this... Break it up into 3 out of 3. So, that's 1 whole. Okay? The other 3 out of 3, it's... This 3 out of 3 is 1 whole and plus your 1 third. So it's 2 whole, 1 out of 3. So that's your mixed number. Okay? So you can convert your improper, okay, by changing it first into a whole and whole and the part, all right? And then you can get your mixed number. Right, let's try another example. Alright, let's say you're given this improper fraction. Alright, the improper fraction is 10 out of 6. As you can see, alright, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 out of 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4. So 6 plus 4 gives you 10 out of 6 for improper. So this is improper fraction. So we are going to change this improper fraction to a mixed number. So as you know, this 10 out of 6, all right, is bro broken up into two parts, okay? And what is that two parts? So as you can see, it's 6 out of 6, okay? That's one whole plus, so 6 plus the extra 1, 2, 3, 4, out of 6. So this 6 plus 4 gives you 10. So 6 plus 4, 10 out of 6. So 6 out of 6 is 1 plus 4 out of 6 is 1 whole and 4 out of 6. So that's your from improper to mixed number. Right? And you can also simplify this answer. And your answer is one whole and two third. Okay? Alright, let's take a look at another example. Alright, given as improper fraction 12 out of 5. Okay, as you can see. Alright. So now changing the improper fraction to a mixed number. Okay. Now, you must be able to see that um, this 12 is actually broken up into, you have here, 5 out of 5, plus, this is another 5 out of 5, plus your 2 out of 5. So, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 2 gives you 12. So this 5 out of 5 is 1 whole plus another 1 whole plus your 2 fifth. So your mixed number is 2 whole and 2 fifth. Let's say you're given just a number that is the improper fraction and you're not given the manipulatives, you know, the fraction list or the drawings. So what can you do? Firstly, you can either draw your model or you can just take a look at the 
denominator that's six that means you know that this is talking about the fraction uh, six all right so you take six out of six plus all right another six out of six six plus six gives you 12 so this is 15 all right so 15 take away 12 will give you three so that's three out of six extra so six out of six is one whole plus one whole plus three out of six your answer is two whole three out of six divided by three divided by three your answer will be two whole and a half okay this is provided you're not given any drawings all right you can draw your model or you can simply break it down into one whole that is six six plus as you know that this is still smaller than 15 so you can still add another six six so six plus six gives you 12. now you cannot add another six there because if you add six then it'd be six plus six plus six gives you 18. so you gotta stop at 12 then 15 take away your 12 will give you 3 so the extra is 3 out of 6 so 1 whole plus 1 whole plus 3 6 is actually 2 whole and 3 out of 6 right let's do another example okay let's say you're given uh, 19 out of 8 okay your improper fraction is 19 out of 8 so how do you go about doing this to change it to a mixed number? All right. All you need to do is, looking at the denominator, you are, you know that they are talking about the eight parts. Okay, so it's eight out of eight plus eight out of eight. Eight plus eight gives you sixteen. Right. So it's already sixteen. So you cannot take another eight out of eight. So you got to minus nineteen minus sixteen it will give you a 3. So the next number is 3. The next fraction is 3 out of 8. Okay? 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 3 will give you 19. So here will be 1 whole plus 1 whole plus 3 out of 8. So your answer will be 2 whole and 3 out of 8. And that's your mixed number. Okay? So this is how you change improper to mixed number. Okay, another way of doing this is simply, all right, I'll show you another way. For those of you who don't want to do um, the addition, breaking down into, breaking it down to holes, right? So let's say if you're given uh, an improper fraction that is maybe 23 out of 7. Okay, so that's improper. How do you know it's improper? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Alright. Actually, what we've been doing is we break it down into holes, right? So 7, 7 plus another 7, 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. This is 23, so you can still take another 7, 7. So 7, 14, 21. So 23 take away 21 will give you 2. So that's plus 2 out of 7. So that's 7, 14, 21. 21 plus 2 is 23. So you stop there. So 7 out of 7 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 out of 7 is 3, 2 out of 7. And that's your mixed number. Okay. Now, for those of you who wants to do another way, okay, I can show you another way, right? So, let's say if you're given improper fraction as 23 out of 7, okay, what you can do is you take this numerator and you do your long division. So, you put in numerator, denominator, all right? So you do your normal long division. So that's 21 here. And that's 3 whole. 3 minus 1 is 2. There is a remainder. Why there is a remainder? Because 7 times table, there's no 23, right? So it's remainder 2. So how do you make this into a mixed number? 
all you need to do is to take your quotient your quotient is three okay over your remainder your remainder is two okay and what is the fraction that you divided with is seven so it's three whole two out of seven that's your answer three whole two out of seven you can do it division or you can do it like that break it down into holes so that's three whole two out of seven so you have another alternative method so actually you have three ways of doing things you can do you can do it by drawing you can do this by breaking it down into whole number okay that means all you need to do is to take your look at the denominator and do your seven so seven plus seven plus seven plus then you have to take 23 minus whatever that you have added so that will give you two out of seven so your answer is that or you can simply divide take the numerator divide it by the denominator it's a there is a remainder so all you need to do is to take the quotient the quotient is your whole number the remainder is the parts that is extra and the seventh is referring to the seven equal parts of fraction okay right let's do another example and see whether you can do this okay let's say you are given um, 26 out of 8 okay that's your improper so if you were to do it using the whole number method would be 8 8 that's 16 plus 8 that's 24 8 16 24 i know i have to stop there so take 26 minus 24 will give me two extra so plus two out of eight so eight out of eight is one whole plus one whole plus one whole plus two out of eight my answer will be three whole two out of eight okay or another way 26 out of eight remember the numerator divide by the denominator so that's 24 and that's 3 6 minus 4 is 2 quotient is 3 whole remainder is 2 parts and 8 is the 8th part so it's three whole two out of eight three whole two out of eight okay right so you see whichever method that suits you okay and um make sure that whatever method that you do all right that your answer must always be in the simplest form because these numbers are not so you got to change it to three whole one out of four okay so that's your final answer with the simplest in the simplest form all right